Hi, okay, old school comics review again. Alright, this time it's going to be another single issue review and we're going to look at Optic Nerve number one. Uh, this is by the art and stories by Adrian Tomine, I think is how you say his name, and it's uh, originally published by Drawn and Quarterly Publications, and I think uh, this issue came out in 1995. Um, these are several short stories. The titles are Sleepwalk, Echo Avenue, Long Distance, Drop, and Lunch Break. Um, the way to describe these stories, these are very kind of uh, low-key slice-of-life stories. You know, They're not big melodramatic things. They're definitely not uh, genre-type stories. They're like everyday stories about everyday people. Um, dealing with their problems, not dealing with their problems, in and out of relationship um, issues, uh, dealing with insecurities, ambition, things like that. Um, I read somewhere where somebody once uh, described Adrian's stories as being comparable to Raymond Carver. Um, I can't comment intelligently about that as, as I've only read like a few of Raven Carver's, uh, Carver's stories. So, um, But what I would say is the way the stories flow, you get kind of a snapshot of these different people's lives. You know, like I said, there's not, they're not big epic things. You know, you don't follow them throughout the years. You follow them around for a day or part of a day. Um, the way a lot of these stories end, they're left on a kind of maybe vague note especially the earlier stories, but they never feel like, oh, half of a story. They end in such a way that makes you, you know, wonder, hmm, I wonder what happened to that person next, or whatever, but you feel satisfied after reading the stories. Um, they read very much like, you know, just contemporary short fiction, you know, like I said, just very realistic stories. Uh, Adrian's art is very... Um, very clean, very clean lines, not a lot of heavy shading, not a lot of heavy blacks. I mean, you know, there's contrast and things like that, uh, the grays and whatnot. All the art is in uh, black and white. Um, I was trying to think of somebody to compare it to. If you squint, maybe you see some slight Jamie Hernandez. Maybe there's some Dan Clouds in it. But, you know, I'm, I'm reaching. I'm reaching for for an easy uh, comparison. Uh, like I said, just very real, realistic stories with realistic art. Um, it's funny if you search around here on YouTube. Uh, there's several people who have actually done short little films based on some of Adrian's older stories. So you know, check that out. Um, these stories are available. Well, I know this issue that I've got here. Um, is uh, has been reprinted in a collection called uh, Sleepwalk and Other Stories. I know you can definitely get it from the publisher. Uh, you might be able to find it in um, a couple of regular bookstores. Maybe, uh, maybe if you have a brick and mortar um, comic book store near you, definitely you can get it. Find these stories online. You can definitely get them from the publisher. So they're really easy to find and they're pretty inexpensive. Um, uh, let's see, or what else can I say about it? Um, well, well, one other thing I want to say is, if you're somebody who's interested in uh, comic books or the comic strip as a medium, as an art form, then you should definitely uh, check it out. Because I think Adrian, in a very unpretentious way, has helped kind of expand what's possible with the content of comics. Like I said, you know, the idea that you can do comics about your life, that you can do comics that are about fiction, that don't have anything to do with, you know, superheroes or uh, mercenaries or assassins or, you know, anything like that. And it doesn't necessarily have to be crazy satire or anything. Uh, you can just do calm, everyday stories about everyday people. Um, once again, I gotta thank you very much for listening. Um, you know, rate, you know, rate this review. Uh, leave any comments. You know, tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me if you think I left anything out. Uh, thank you very much, and you have a good one.